Hey VC, Steve here with another video. Uh, talked about this in the last video, showing some cassettes. Uh, this is all dedicated to cassettes. I bought five of them, ordered them from Hell's Headbangers. A um, couple of them, uh, four of them are classics. One of them's brand new. And uh, anyway, that's what this video is all about. In the background, we'll be listening to Galvanizer. The Pry and Sight of Imperception, which is my favorite death metal album release from 2021. Um, finished death metal, future classic, killer freaking artwork. Showed this several times in other videos. <clears throat> Just love this album. I really need to pick this up on vinyl and CD. But uh, this cassette will do till then. So, without further ado, I'll get on to what I bought. So, uh, first one is uh, Merciless Awakening Swedish Thrash Metal Death Metal Black Metal. Uh, this album was recorded in 1989, didn't get released till 1990 on Death Like uh, Cricket Studio or. What was it? Death like silence. Couldn't think of it. But um, anyway, yeah, I, I believe this was the first album released on your Anonymous's uh, label. Uh, but anyway, Flaga Records uh, reissued this, and so freaking happy to have a copy of this gem. This album kind of reminds me of, like uh, Creators uh, Pleasure to Kill and. Uh, this Swedish kind of death metal and black metal the way they do it. But yeah, it comes on this black shell. Fucking killer. Of course, I said Flogga Records reissued this. It's the fold out. Fucking killer. So stoked to have this back in my collection. I used to have uh, this on uh, CD a long time ago. I can't remember what reissue. It wasn't Death Like Science that had it. It was somebody else. But uh, anyway, yeah, this is just a freaking Stone Cold classic. If you haven't heard of it, please check it out. You'll be doing yourself a favor. I'll post links. That artwork is freaking killer as fuck. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, Marcellus, The Awakening. Next up, got Sintinex. Um, Subconscious Lobotomy, another Swedish gem from 1992, recorded at Sunlight Studios. This is a Goat Throne reissue. Nice clear cassette, the old the way I like my cassettes look like this. Pretty cool logo on it. Band kind of sounds like Entombed, um, Dismember. It's got some gothic moments where it has a woman's vocals in it. And some keyboards and uh here's this the original artwork they just put a little piece of it right there which is basically some looks like a blow-up doll in a dungeon and some dude torturing her I wish I had this artwork but uh, they put this artwork on it which is fine with me because this is absolute hands-down classic um, Swedish death metal gem in my book, I fucking love this album. So, Sepnik's Subconscious Lobotomy. Absolute gem. And like I said, I'll post links to all these. Next one I've seen getting posted on Instagram over and over again. I've never heard of this band. Um, and I decided to go ahead and, and listen to it and I was blown away I freaking love it, it kind of reminds me of like uh, it's brutal death metal it's regurgitation tales of necrophilia and what it sounds like is kind of like a cross between cannibal corpse like uh, butchered at birth um, I guess cryptopsy non so vile and um, suffocation effigy of the forgotten what I really love about this 
makes on this album is uh, guitars are stereoed out. They're not over layered. Drumming is freaking perfect. The vocals are freaking perfect. Comes on this green shell. Hell's Headbangers put this one out. Uh, I believe it was recorded in 1999. Uh, bands from Washington Square, uh, Washington Courthouse, Ohio. And here's the layout. So crabble corpses right there. I actually like this a lot better than Cannibal Corpse, to be honest with you. This is fucking killer. I'll just show that real quick. And that. This brutal as fuck. Killer ass brutal death metal. I hear some people, whenever I was looking at reviews, they said it's entry level. But <laughs> I thought Cannibal Corpse is more entry level brutal death metal, if you ask me. But this is really, this is a fucking killer album. I love this album. Badass shit. Probably didn't show Symphonix. Looks like that. Should have showed that. Spine on these. Merciless looks like that. But anyway, yeah, this is a killer fucking album. Uh, I think I'm good with just having a cassette copy of this, to be honest with you. Um, I love the production on it, like I said, killer shit, regurgitation, tales of necrophilia. Next one I've show I've seen people show over and over again. Finally, um, I've never had a copy of this. I've heard it. I remember when it came out in 1992, um, listened to it, and I was like, man, this is fucking awesome. Um, of course, it's Impetigo. Oh, shoot. Horror of the Zombies. Fucking drew a blank. Released in 1992. Um, they take a lot of uh, samples from old horror flicks. Some stuff from uh, like some serial killer shit. Um, based on splatter films and cannibal zombie looking films. But it was on this green. I believe Hell's Headbangers did this one as well. It's good shit. Really kind of death grind, I guess. The layout. I know a lot of people have showed this, so they probably already know about this one, but it's in my collection and I love it. Nice album to freaking zone out to. But anyway, yeah, killer shit. Um, spine looks like that. Yeah, it's Hell's Headbangers. I knew it was. I didn't want to steer you all wrong. Of course, if you haven't listened to this album, I'll post a link. My favorite track on this is uh, Boneyard, which is a fucking classic sound and uh, lyrics, kind of hysterical. And last but not least, I uh, got another 2022 release, Thorns, The Yawning Depths, or Yawning Depths. Uh, pretty killer shit. Kind of reminds me of I guess fluids and, and then when I looked it up uh, Brennan Westermeyer uh, from fluids is a uh, side project but uh, I can't remember what record label does this one they're from Arizona it's on the screen shell and it's got that cool logo right there on it sounds like modern style death metal heavy balls man I wish I could see the who release this but I can't see it but pretty killer shit still uh, a grower on me I mean I like it but it's one of those albums I think it's gonna take a couple more listens to get into but yeah that killed that artwork so it looks so freaking finished I guess you expect Finland to have something like that on their album covers but anyway, yeah, that's my uh, short little video. Uh, got some more stuff coming in, and I bought a couple, a bunch, a couple of CDs and uh, vinyls, and I'll do a collection update video soon. But anyway, yeah, so new additions to my cassette collection is these five gems, and 
course it's closing out. Listen to this badass freaking beast of a death metal album from Finland. Boy. Hope you enjoy. Later. Oh, that's cool. I like those dual vocals they got on this. That lower register and that higher.